Hello and welcome to this session of CCNP Encore series. In this session, I will discuss about simplified campus design. So our objective in this session will be to understand the challenges faced by the traditional network designs and then get into the, I mean, try to understand the switch clustering and stacking technologies and benefits of using them. In the previous session, we discussed about STP based layer two and uh, routed access layer three access distribution design. In the setups, multiple access switches connect to two redundant distribution switches. And redundancy is managed by control plane protocol like FHRPs or uh, STPs. And in layer three access layer, it is managed by routing protocols like EIGRP, OSPF, etc. These type of designs introduce challenges like for example, layer two access layer, spanning tree block links here to prevent layer two loops. Whereas in layer three design, if you see uh, recovery during any link or switch failure depends on the convergence of this routing protocols used, which can take time depending on the routing protocols used. And as the business grow, so do their networks. So adding more switches can lead to configuration chaos if not done properly. So switch clustering solves these challenges by enabling switches to work together as a single logical unit. So the simplified campus design is based on the switch clustering and stacking technologies. Switch clustering is a network design approach where two physical switches are grouped together to operate as a single logical switch. The simplified campus design uses switch clustering technologies like VSS also known as virtual switching system and SWV also known as stack wise virtual. Virtual switching system and stack wise virtual is a network virtualizing technology that allows two physical switches to operate as a single logical switch. They share a unified control plane and management interface. They are typically used for distribution and core layer switches. V VSS is usually supported on platforms such as Cisco Catalyst 6500 or 6800 series and some 4500 series routers. And uh, the next technology is stacking. The stacking is an approach where two or more switches are stacked into single logical switch. The simplified Campus design uses stacking technologies like Stackwise, which is a technology that allows multiple physical switches to be interconnected as a, I mean, to be interconnected and operate as a single logical switch. It is usually deployed for access layer switches. The VSS is usually deployed at the distribution or core. And the stacking usually deployed uh, at the access layer. It can stack two or more switches, whereas VSS, you have to, I mean, uh, use two switches. So they share, I mean, the stacking switches, stacked switches share a single management and control plane. That is the one of the advantage. So the goal of this VSS, I mean, uh, SWV and stacking can be achieved by uh, using ether channel. So uh, as I said, like the goal of configuring one logical switch is made possible by using ether channel. There are two types of ether channel for VSS and SWV. It supports multi chassis ether channel or MEC, which lets devices connect to two physical switches as if they are connected to one. Stackwise uses cross stack ether channel which enables connections across all the switches in a stack. So the clustering and stacking technologies can be applied to any of the campus building blocks to simplify them even further. It simplifies network management, improves performance and enhances resilience by allowing the grouped switches to share a unified management and control plane. Let's look at some of the benefits of using this simplified campus design. When you use this type of technologies, fewer, there are fewer devices to manage, which is equal to less time spent on 
provisioning and maintenance no first hop redundancy protocol will be required as you know vss and swv acts as a single gateway so no hsrp or vrp required ether channel minimizes the need for spanning tree protocols though it is still there as a safety net since all uplinks are active it increases your bandwidth and gives you better performance the network looks like uh, a hub and spoke design so it's less complex and easier to troubleshoot and then since bo both since uh, both the links are active ether channel offers sub second failures so your convergence will be faster and then vlans can uh, span multiple switches without blocking links so the vlans will be distributed across multiple switches and last one if one of the switch fails traffic automatically shifts to other without interruption by using high availability technologies like sso or nsf which we will discuss in the upcoming sessions that's it for this session i hope this was informative for you in my next session i will discuss about uh, high availability network design types thank you for watching please do like comment share and subscribe and also please do not forget to check out my courses on udemy i'll be sharing the link in the description below thank you for watching